Yeah, so, we're back. Night of the Champions playing on the background right now, exclusively on the award-winning WWE Network. Uh, the pay-per-view just ended. Over and all, though, because Night of Champions in recent years doesn't have any significant moments to it. It's been pretty uh, shit the last... Uh, like, the last... Last year's, I remember, was Lesnar... It was Lesnar Cena, and then Rollins cost the main event because he came on threat in the cash... The cash out. I, like, I don't... That's all I remember. Yeah. But this year, though, honestly... Well, they had a... AJ winning the championship back. And yes, they did. I mean, but it wasn't an overall... It wasn't that great of a show. But tonight, you had Kevin Owens winning a title, Charlotte winning, Cena winning, Rollins retaining, setting up two matches for the next pay-per-view, which is five weeks out, which I feel like is a good thing. But at the same time, though, very solid. This has probably been the best pay-per-view that I've seen on TV since Money in the Bank. And that's not saying a lot, because Battleground happened, and then we were at SummerSlam. Well, so. right now, it's uh, Kevin Owens versus... Uh, Ryback. Ryback, the opening match. I oh. thought it was, a, it was KO's match. champ, I'm happy. Yeah, it's it's more the finish than the match itself. Like, the match itself was very average. So we know but it's... Kevin Owens won, so I mean... Well, that, they got to have filler time for halftime tomorrow between the Jets-Colts game. Think about it. Yeah, so they... Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying the match could have been better, but... Uh, Kevin Owens won, so... I was, pre- I was presenting Ryback... And I wouldn't have cared if Ryback won, but Kevin Owens deserves it, so... I only predicted Kevin Owens to win because I figured Ryback's been champ for about four months now. He said 100 and, 100 and something days, 100 and like 10 100 days. 112 days. 112 days, and I figured, hey, well, I, it's I, about I, time that something changed. The like, reason you I figured was, New Day wasn't going to win because... It wasn't going to lose because they just won yeah. 21 day, uh, 28 days ago. And then you had... Well, I mean, the, the thing with the... Traditions, right? It doesn't really matter who won when. Like, Seth Rollins lost his championship in a month. But that's because... We'll, but, we'll talk about that later, but... The thing uh, with that... Let's just talk about that now. Cause the thing with that is, though, if you keep the world title on him, it keeps him relevant, it keeps him... He can come still and say, oh, yeah, I might have lost one, but guess what? I beat Sting, I'm still the guy, and then who's this Kane guy I think he is coming back and returning? Meanwhile, he loses the U.S. title. He... I don't even think they're going to do a rematch for it. I think they're just going to write it away. Or they'll be tomorrow night, like a quick, the open challenge comes back. He comes back out in his black gear with the U.S. The champ is here and written in the American flag lettering. But over and all, though, like, seeing it with the U.S. title, honestly, isn't the worst thing in the world. Because think about it. To me, to me, it's the worst thing in the world simply because I'm just tired of John Cena. And I don't want him to uh, now beat Ric Flair's uh, record for the U.S. title reigns, too. And I'm just tired of him. Yeah, but no one really and cares really, about the U.S. title reign record, though. It's more about the World Heavyweight Championship. No, but it matters, because once Cena beats it, then they'll make everyone care about it, because they'll keep fucking shoving it down everyone's throats. Oh, look, Cena, the longest, I mean, the one with the most U.S. title reigns, the one with the most World title it's, it's... It's more about, though, the whole, like, it just keeps him, just keep him doing his thing, and we'll throw basically random guys at him, like, hell... You get, ma- that, you get about a match next month against Bray Wyatt can, at Hell in a Cell for all we care. They can do that without him being the U.S. champion. I just thought it was completely pointless to have Rollins be the first guy to hold both titles and then end it in a month. It completely erases everything from SummerSlam. And, like, this is the typical John Cena way of do, doing things. He can't lose a feud. Just like with Kevin Owens, it completely erased his first win because now it makes him look like a fluke knowing that he lost twice in a row and he tapped out the second time. But... No, the Anyways, third uh, time he tapped up. First time Owens won. The second time he lost that match. Then I missed the finish for the second one because I was getting pizza. And then the third time, yeah. Owens made him tap. Owens tapped to him. But nevertheless, though, yeah, Night of Champions was a... I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. Well, what other matches were there? So, like... Divas champion, Charlotte winning. Finally, Nikki Bell has yeah, been I mean, thrown. So it's kind of like... That's what all the Cena, anti-Cena fans are saying. They're like, oh, Cena won, but your girlfriend lost. So there's that. Hopefully, uh... Charlotte beats uh, the record now. Yeah. I, she holds it for whatever, a year or something. 297 days. Well, no, it's uh, 301 days, I think. Uh, Nikki Bella's record now. Oh. So, 301 plus YouTube views. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully Charlotte beats that record. Uh, I just think it's pathetic that Nikki Bella is long this way. Give Nikki Bella I mean, something to brag anyways, about. Think I never about took it. it. Anyways, I never took it seriously, this whole longest winning Divas champion thing, because... When you put it in comparison to the actual women's championship, it's like nothing because it's not even like the top whatever five reigns. Because uh, what Trish Stratus had a 400 something reign, 400, 400 plus longest reign divas champion and long not longest reign in women's. No, that's what I'm saying. It, that's why it doesn't mean anything because it's the championship hasn't been long been around that long anyway. Seven it, years. 
yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a pointless thing that they keep bringing up. No one cares. You you're the longest reigning divas champion. If you're not the longest reigning women's champion, get the hell out of here. That's fabulous, Mula. No one's gonna break that streak. But nevertheless, though, Night of Champions. There's nothing really else to talk about. What would you give the pay-per-view overall? Uh, probably. Uh, I wasn't that impressed with it. Probably like a five. I say seven point five. Honestly, it was better than what I thought. It was. It's one of those things well, that didn't wow me, but it was better than what I thought it was well, gonna be. Let's so. review the matches like, like one by one. Like Kevin Owens, uh, Kevin Owens versus Ryback was okay. Diva's match was okay. Uh, Tag team match was. Tag team and Cena and Rollins are matching the night. Tag team match. was entertaining until the uh, until the finish. That was pretty shitty, but like whatever. I don't care that they did that. Yeah. I'm just glad the New Day are still champion. Um, then what, what the matches were there? Uh, Ziggler versus Rusev was uh, pretty okay. All right, so I'm just gonna end it here because uh, I figure people are gonna stop watching and get a little bored and tired. So uh, we'll see you guys because we got house show Friday but night. Rollins is still champion. Cena will always be the mid-card guy as long as Rollins is champion. That's why I told him. It's better that he lost the U.S. title than the World Heavyweight title. So we'll see you Friday night for house show in Toronto. Monday night, next Monday night, we're at Raw. See you guys there. See you when you see it.